Hey, this is Michael Pavlovich, and I'm going to be taking you through the XNormal process. XNormal is a free program you can get online, um, which bakes out uh, maps and does a couple other cool things, which I'll show you in a second. First thing we're going to do is uh, have our ZBrush model. Um, it's got a matcap granite now, but if I go under uh, Texture, Colorize, you'll see that it also has a poly paint. Um, we're going to bake out three maps in XNormal. Uh, the first one is a normal map, which is going to get this nice high-res detail, and then we're going to bake out an ambient occlusion map, and then we're going to bake out this base, this poly paint as a base texture. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our geomet our high-res geometry so that we can have uh, texture applied, this poly paint applied as a texture, and then we'll bake that off. So we'll go under here to geometry, and we'll drop this down to our lowest subdivision level. And under texture, we're going to give it GUV tiles. These are just temporary group UV tiles, which will allow us just to have temporary UVs on this high-res mesh to bake our texture off of. So the second thing we're going to do is make a texture map. Uh, make sure you have white select over here as a color. I'm going to go to texture. I'll make a 2048 texture. And we'll hit new. And it looks like you got rid of your poly paint, but all it did was fill your object with this 2048 white texture. In order to get that poly paint off of there, we're going to go up to our highest subdivision level. Make sure we got our highest uh, detail on our poly paint. And then over here, under the texture tab, we're going to hit color to texture. That's your polygon, your poly paint color to the texture map. And that's going to throw it onto that texture map. And these are your GUV tiles, just a bunch of squares. In order to get this map out of here and usable, we're going to have to go into texture, flip vertically, and then export. And we'll put this in the bake folder. We'll just replace this body CM, body color map, PSD. And we'll turn that texture off. Uh, you'll notice he's mirrored down the middle. Um, I have my game rest set up so that its UVs are right along this side. So we don't need to export any of this. It's just going to slow the process down, so we'll get rid of all that stuff. So now we've got our high res with the poly paint with the GUV tiles that are compatible with that map we exported. So let's go ahead and export this. We'll name it Body High. And it'll export that geometry with the correct uh, temporary UVs. All right, we don't need ZBrush anymore. So now we have uh, XNorm will do the rest of the work for us. Uh, the first button you'll notice over here is your High Definition Meshes. Click that and right click, Add Mesh. And we'll grab that Body High we just exported. Where it says Base Texture to Bake, right click and base texture to bake. And we'll grab that body color map we exported, which was flipped vertically. And then under low, we're going to grab our low res game res uh, geometry with the uh, game res UVs on it that are nice and uh, laid out for Photoshop work. Um, when you've got an object or a, a guy that has his arms down to his side, you'll, uh, you might get artifacting where it kind of casts his hands onto his belly with this uh, ray distance, depending on the size of your model. Uh, I noticed that setting these to two We'll get rid of that. And I didn't average any normals in Maya before I exported that gamer's mesh, so I'm going to have Zebra or uh, XNormal do that for me. And we'll go to baking options. The first map we'll bake out is our normal map, so we'll give it a prefix, call it body. What that's going to do is add a prefix to all these maps, so you don't have to change that. Uh, we'll make it a 512 by 512 map, and we'll give it that just blank purple normal map background color. We'll change this from ambient occlusion to the, we'll check normal map. And all these things right here are just options you can change. These are fine. Uh, we'll make it 2x aliasing. Edge padding at 4 is fine. So we've got our high res selected with a little check mark. We've got our low res with a check mark. Got our baking option set up correctly. So we'll just hit generate maps. And it's going to import that high res. And the good thing about uh, X normal as it rarely crashes. Uh, Maya in uh, 3D Studio Max, if you import too many polygons, it, it has a tendency to crash even on 64-bit systems. Uh, but I've I rarely crash X normal. So there's our uh, there's a nice normal map. So now we're gonna bake out our base texture. We'll change this background color to black. 2x is fine. Body prefix. Uh, we've got our high and our low selected. So we'll just hit generate maps with the base texture checked. And it's going to bring in that high res again. And remember, this high res has those GUV tiles with our map that we're mapping to the high res. So the high res has a color map applied to it, and it's going to bake that down to our nice game res UVs. Let's give it a second. And there's our base texture. This isn't going to replace any texturing you might want to do in Photoshop, but it's a good start. Uh, you can also paint your spec maps in, uh, 
in a ZBrush and bake it out, or masks or anything you want to do. And next we're going to bake out our ambient occlusion. Uh, because this ambient occlusion really taxes my computer, especially while I'm uh, capturing, I'm going to drop these down so we're not sitting here forever waiting for it. Don't get me wrong, this is one of the fastest um, ambient occlusion renderers that I've ever come across, but uh, just so we're not sitting here, I'm going to bump all this down a notch. Uh, so we got ambient occlusion checked, we'll hit generate maps. And there's our ambient occlusion map. Uh, so there's our three maps. Um, down here you'll notice that uh, there's a tools option. And just for the hell of it, we'll go ahead and uh, bake a, a cavity map off. We'll go grab that uh, body normals. And we're going to just generate a cavity map off of that. And this will give you a map that you can overlay and create, you know, it'll raise those, raise those edges for a, a spec map you might need. But um, that was under tools over here. There's a bunch of stuff you could do in here. So that's, uh, that's the basics of uh, X normal. So, uh, you know, Google it and uh, grab it, and it's free, so have fun.